Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and if you're on Windows 11, well, there's a uh, update that uh, is there if you go and check it out. And uh, this is the update preview, uh, optional update preview uh, for Windows 11, 22H2 and 23H2. And this is, of course, KB5040527, as you see here, as I took a picture from my old 12-year-old Toshiba that's unsupported, uh, 23H2 and 22H2. So this fixes a few things. It fixes the uh, Windows Backup app that fails if you are on a PC that is with extensible firmware interface or EFI system partitions. It also has a um, fix for uh, some printer issues uh, in the um, Windows operating system. So one is the uh, print support app that uh, when you use the USB device stops responding and does not print. It fixes also a universal print client failing to communicate with the universal print service. And um, there's, of course, a, a change in the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list file that's updated for uh, make sure that, you know, you stay safe. And a few little things that uh, are extras in there. So not a lot, uh, pretty much the same as Windows 10 as the fixes. So you can wait. That's what Microsoft kind of says, because these, you never know when they could cause issues. And by the time you get to patch Tuesday, they will be fixed. Or if you want to install them right now, if you have issues, we'll simply go to Windows Update and check for updates. And it's going to bring you the update to this uh, update preview. So bug fixes are here. Uh, this is the last bug fixing update for Windows 11 22H2. Starting from now, you're getting only the security updates until the end of uh, uh, Oct um, until October when it end of support arrives. So 22H2 will be at end of support. Um, so, and of course, if you're still at 22H2, it's time to start thinking about moving on to at least 23H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.